everyone welcome back to my channel so today we've got a beautiful set it's very bright it's very different we've got clear tips in there and some color blocking and some neons so yes Katie has come back in after four weeks for an infill and redesign so we've just removed all of a previous set with my e-file gone in with my usual prep infilled the nails with crystal glass clear acrylic and then I'm just gonna go in with design. So on the pinky, I'm using what is probably the most popular color so far since the sun popped its head, bubblegum. <laughs> it is beautiful, it is so bright and it's such a nice color. It's really hard to describe the kind of color because it's like a neon pinky. It's sort of got a little bit of corally in there. It's so nice, so pretty. So we're going to do a full pinky of this and we're going to pop some glitter over the top of this as well and this is, I think this one's called Tourmaline from Smiley's Glitter Store. Her glitters are beautiful and this mix has got all sorts in it. It's pink based but it's got Mylar, it's got Hexies, it's got smaller bits, chunkier bits. You can see how chunky it is. It takes, it takes me a while to work with this one. So using smaller beads and wetter clear acrylic does the job. So I'm going to do a full nail of this. So here on the ring finger we're going to do one of the colour block nails. So we're going to go in with bubblegum and I'm going to like create a chevron kind of shape for the colour block. And then we're going to add a white around this as well, but keeping the tip really clear. She wanted a design with a neon pink and white, but she wanted some clear tips in there. So we've done two of these nails, and then on the thumb we've done a glitter fade with a, a clear tip as well. So yeah, always with colour block, I go in at the cuticle and I shape all the sides and that wall with the sides of the brush. I'm using the one monomer as well and it's great. It's absolutely perfect for this. Because it doesn't set too fast, but it sets faster than the others. So when you stop playing with it, it kind of just sets for you, it doesn't run all over. It's beautiful. So on the middle finger, we're gonna go in with a full nail of coconut milk. So I just wanted a white wash and a white base underneath some glitter. So I'm not too worried about the coverage or the opacity. I'm going to go in on top of this with Bride to Be Glitter, also from Smiley's. So I'll just let you watch.
So with the colour block nails, it's it's sort of the only sort of advice I could give with these is to keep your consistency of your ratio medium. Not wet and not too dry. You want it sort of mouldable, but so that you've got plenty of time to play with it and move it. Um, and you don't want it running around the nail and you don't want it setting up too fast. So yeah, a medium consistency I'd call it. Not a wet and not a dry. In the middle. And then once you've placed it, just use the belly of your brush a lot to pat it out, make sure it's all even on the top. And then using the sides and the tip of your brush just to perfect your shape. But you can always go in like I do with a hand file and just refine those, those side walls. And that wall where you're going to put your next colour up to. So here on the thumb, we're going to do a diagonal glitter fade with the tourmaline glitter on its own. And we're going to leave the tip clear. So I'll just let you watch. So here I'm just adding some coconut milk as my second colour for the chevron and it's a really nice white to work with although these designs are, are a bit tricky I need some more practice to be honest I don't do them enough <laughs> I mean I can just about get away with it but yeah I could be better um, so yeah we're just going to tuck this all around that nice pink chevron because I've filed in just a little bit just to make them a bit sharper um, and then I'm going to go in with this coconut milk and then I'm going to do a chevron using the sides of my brush again. So we've got like a double chevron colour block. And then I'll leave the tip clear. So after I've finished this hand, I'm going to go over to the left hand and do exactly the same design. But I have sped this up a little bit so that it doesn't take forever because you've just watched me do it all. But I thought I'd leave it in because I've not left any filing in or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to get the design in. So yeah, I'll just let you watch.
So once I've finished doing all the design and all the nails and I'm happy with it, I'm going to go in and cap all of the nails in crystal glass clear acrylic. And then I'm going to do all my usual filing and shaping and buffing. And now we're going in with my favourite bit, top gloss. Making all those gorgeous nails come to life. Getting to see all those sparkly bits. Oh, I love it. I love this bit. It's so satisfying. So yeah, um, this is the finished design done. And there's a picture at the end of the set. So yeah, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much again for all my new subscribers. It is amazing and I'm really enjoying all of the comments and the feedback and everything. It's been so positive and so nice. So yeah, I'm wondering why I didn't do YouTube sooner. <laughs> I don't know what I was so scared about. You're all, you're all ace. So yeah, thank you so much for watching again and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed, if you like what you see, please subscribe. <laughs> yeah, so there's a picture at the end and um, yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow probably guys. So, see you in my next one. Bye!